your consent just uh, isn't hot. When did it become normalized that every lewd interaction has to be completely consensual? Yeah, about the same time common sense became a thing, but I guess you weren't up to date on that. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We are heading back into Horror Solution, same people, Facebook, or the unfortunately, the S will always and forever be standing for stupid as shit. So if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up them wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Also, if you would like to save 10% on your next order of gamer subs, use code TOMMY at checkout or click the link down below. What a sad reality. 50 years ago, women feel shy to show their skin and wear sexy and short dresses. And today, women love to wear tubies, tops, backless, and expose their skin. They don't mind at all. Fifty years ago, children were gentle with their parents. Today, parents have to be gentle with their children. Fifty years ago, children respected their parents. Now parents have to respect their children. Fifty years ago, marriage was easy, but divorce was difficult. Nowadays, it is difficult to get married, but divorce is so easy. Fifty years ago, we got to know all of the neighbors. Now we are strangers to our neighbors. Fifty years ago, people had to eat a lot because they needed the energy to work hard. Now we are afraid to eat fatty foods for fear of the cholesterol and hypertension. Fifty years ago, only one person worked to support the whole family. Now all have to work to support one child. That last one's just called inflation, dummy. Fifty years ago, people loved to study and read their Bible and books. Now people love to update the status on the social media. This is the 21st century. Phones are wireless, cooking is fireless, cars are keyless, foods are fatless. Like shit they are, have you seen McDonald's? Tires are tubeless, tools cordless, dress sleeveless, youth jobless, leaders shameless, attitude careless, spouse fearless, feeling heartless, education values, kids mannerless. Are you really getting upset at phones being Wireless? What the what the shit? How dare times not be like the 50s? It's almost as if they change, you know? A lot of the beings on this planet lack carbon. They don't have the necessary organs active in their, wrong their, body to intake carbon, which comes from the soul, which is a dark matter energy seen as the blackness of space. You have to come up from there and have carbon, my boy. Carbon makes you rust due to the oxygen and water in your butt. Who the shit are you talking to? The Tin Man? So you would have to be colored person to intake a soul and produce carbon without the soul that is photon plasma and dark energy and dark matter energy to create a physical matter called carbon. Only plants and beings that resemble plants have carbon, woolly hair, brown neural melanin eyes, and skin veins that look like trees, and green veins roots in the lungs hair that spirals. Let me give you some comfort, Nancy. I have lived in this area since 1978, and if I had locked myself in my house and put earplugs in and shut my TV off since that time, I would have been fine. Think about how many storms have come and gone since that time, and all of the worry that have gone in it. I'm not saying that it's not smart to plan, but if you go by odds and statistics, you'll be fine. Eh, thank you, Rob. I have usually felt that way. For some reason, this feels different. I hope that I'm wrong. Here is the main reason you should be worried at this time. More than any other thing, this is going into the conspiracy side of things. 
Harp and CERN have come up with ways to direct storms and the jet stream. The New World Order, also called the United Nation 2030, plan calls for smart cities, and those cities have already been picked out with Houston being one of them, which was already hit by a hurricane and St. Petersburg is another. Tampa Bay should be very worried about a storm like this one because of the trajectory. When a storm approaches us from the gulf and the right side of the hurricane hits us, it pushes the water into the bay, flooding it. The hurricane that hit not too long back did the opposite when it came barely inland and the opposite happened. All of the water in Tampa Bay got pushed out. There were photos of the Bay Area with the water completely gone, which uh, were pretty freaky looking. This so-called conspiracy about being able to control weather is not a conspiracy. Rather, it is happening. The fires happening around our country are not by accident. Nor is all of the evil that is rising up like never before. Jesus Christ is about to come back, Nancy, so make sure you have accepted him as your savior first and foremost before you ever worry about a hurricane. Ah, yes, you know, just what everybody needs. Door knockers, except they're on your Facebook friends list. Conservatism isn't just a necessity. It is a tool against the dark gods. Each chaos god literally embodies progressive ideals. Nurgle is all about embrace and acceptance, two elements that are part of socialism. Slanesh is liberation, literally freedom from any rules and doing whatever you want to an extreme degree. Korn is the least progressive god, but he still embodies rebellion and revolution any violent act, even for or against order. Ironically, makes Korn the most liberal god, as he doesn't care where the blood comes from. And Zinch, I mean, this is the god of change for crying out loud. He grows stronger from progression. Any ambitious advancement and invention makes Zinch stronger. Seriously, at this point, I would call Kral, call an agent of Zinch. Additionally, all of the gods together embody chaos and anarchism, absolute rejection of order. It represents the farthest left you can go before society collapses into itself and falls into a dark abyss of entropy. I'm sorry, I looked in the comments. Is this dude really using Warhammer monsters for conservatism or political stuff? What the, what the shit? Uh, dear Friarburg fairgoers, our new metal detectors replace bag checking. We understand everyone in Maine carries a small pocket knife. These are allowed, with a maximum blade size of 4 inches. Firearms and large knives, anything with a blade over 4 inches, are not allowed. Medical implants safely pass through. Handheld scanners will be available for special circumstances as needed. Again, our mission is enhanced public safety. Thank you, Freiburg Fair. It's actually pretty sad that a legal firearm owner with a CWP isn't allowed to carry in there. It makes me feel less safe knowing that someone who is responsible won't have their weapon if something was to happen. Are you going to have more officers there? Are you checking the carnival people when they check in? Is security going to have weapons? You're taking the weapons of responsible owners. It is sickening that you are taking away someone's right to carry and defend themselves if something was to happen. For that reason, I will not be attending with my family. Okay, bye. And there's absolutely no way of getting in the fair without passing through the metal detectors. Pure sarcasm. I know you've had the no firearm policy for years. However, it's common knowledge a disarmed public is a vulnerable public. People have been concealed carrying for years on the grounds. 
protecting all other around them if necessary. The allowable pocket knife maximum blade inch is 4 inches. Yes, uh, all would be mass pew pewers have been made aware of your make people defenses policy. Thanks, but no thanks. This is freaking main for Christ's sake. A firearm free zone is statistically less safe. Yeah, the second amendment the right to bear arms concealed carry permit allows you to conceal seal. These are things that good citizens are allowed to do to protect themselves from people that do not follow the law. Good luck at the fair as I won't be attending and putting my life in your securities hands. Hey dang, ain't that awesome? The people with the firearms are saying that they're not going to be coming. Ain't that weird? But with that, that was going to have to be with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye